Mike Akuma here and today I'm here with, who are you? Isabella, a six year old, helping me to make one of our favorite uh, keto desserts. It's a keto pudding that consists of only two ingredients in the easiest case and that is coconut milk and uh, chia seeds. And before we get started, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the little alert button so you get notified when I publish more videos like this. Also, I will have the detailed recipe down in the description, so check out that link for more photos and uh, the exact ingredients and measurements. But to get started today, we're going to pour two cans of coconut milk. Hit it. Okay, you guys are gonna have a mess in there. No, don't do no, that. No, no, <laughs> you're gonna have a mess. Okay, very good. Now this is all pretty liquidy, as you can see, and the trick to get this into a more consistent... The trick to get this into a more, uh, into a firmer consistency, basically, or um, texture here is to add the chia seeds, because they soak up the liquid and make it pudding back. And I always just, you know, add the seeds as I, you know, as I see fit, but that's why my pudding is typically not as good as the one from that my wife makes, because she has exact measurements and she uses how many tablespoons? Eight. Eight tablespoons. One. Two. Eight. Okay, those are eight tablespoons. Every two cups, eight tablespoons. Let's try to remember that. And, uh, now we can get the good old whiskeroni. And once that has been properly mixed, uh, you put it in the fridge overnight, ideally. And what you can do is, like, after 10 minutes of being in the fridge, you take it out again, mix it again real quick, because at that point the chia seeds have already started soaking up some of the liquids, and you don't want them to settle all on the, um, all the bottom. Uh, we've had that a couple of times, so if you mix it again after 10 minutes, you can prevent that from happening and then you wait 24 hours or probably even you know, a couple of hours should, should suffice but we typically have it in the fridge for 24 hours overnight and then next morning it's gonna be a very pudding like consistency and 12 hours 12 hours 12 hours no, see? or even less or even less our cameraman is gonna come over here and you can see how it is very soup like but that'll change. So we can put this um, in the fridge and so you get an idea of how it looks <coughs> once it's solid. This is kind of how it, how it looks. It's very, look at this, very pudding like It doesn't come out. And what you can do is then you just spoon it as it is without anything else. Uh, but my wife likes to get a little bit more creative. So she put like a layer of the pudding, then some nut butter, maybe that almond butter here, the organic one at Costco. You can uh, add cocoa powder. I typically make my um, keto pudding with a uh, mix in the, the cocoa powder, so it's like a chocolatey kind of thing. You can also add fruits on top, obviously. You can uh, just make sure there are fruits that are low in, in carbs, like raspberries maybe. Uh, we have some keto chocolate chips that you can. And that's pretty much it. So you decorate it if you want to, or if you don't, just eat it. Um, it's super simple, it takes five minutes unless there is a kid involved that it may take 10 um, but it's super simple very delicious high in fat low in carbs and check out my recipe um, down below in the description if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't this often seems to be working as well until next time